Let's take a little time to talk about the audio channel capacities of the QSYS Core. There are network audio channels, local audio channels, network audio streams, it can get a little confusing. So let's walk through it point by point. If you have an I.O. frame with four line in cards, each of those cards has four inputs. If you plug a physical device into each of these inputs, then you have 16 channels feeding into your I.O. frame. This information is all packaged into one network audio stream and sent over the gigabit network to the core. This one network audio stream contains 16 network audio channels, which are the 16 inputs on your I.O. frame. You can check your design at any time in the QSYS Designer software to find out how many network audio streams and network audio channels you're using. You can press Shift F6 or go to the File menu and select Check Design. This menu will tell you the percentage of digital signal processing you're using, the number of streams and channels for both your network audio inputs and outputs, as well as how much bandwidth these streams are using. A Core 1000 is able to process 64 network channels in and 64 network channels out. And if the system is running designer software 3.0 or higher, these become 128 flex channels, which can be used for network channels in or out. On top of this, don't forget that you also have local channels. Every core has its own channels as well. The Core 250i and the Core 500i, for instance, can each hold up to eight I.O. cards. The audio from these cards go directly to and from the core without ever going over the gigabit network. If you packed this core with AES-3 cards, which allow four inputs and four outputs each, then you would have 32 local input channels and 32 local output channels in addition to the 128 network audio channels that you're also capable of processing. More importantly, keep in mind that you can get far more physical output channels than network output channels, since output channels can often carry the same information when you send your audio to multiple amplifiers or loudspeakers, they can share a network channel. For more information on how to get the most out of your network channels, check out our Maximizing Output Channels video. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.